hi everyone how you're doing great awesome so in our previous video we have seen uh, that how to install protector jasmine html reporter and we have installed using npm install hyphen g protector jasmine html reporter after the installation uh, we verified that uh, it has installed at this location under the node modules which means we have now this library and we can make use of this library to generate automation test report in protector so now let's see how we can make use of this library and as we know in uh, protector we have two types of files configuration file and spec file in spec file we write our test and in configuration file we uh, specify our involvement variables different side of different kinds of settings all right so uh, since we want to use make use of this library so we have to go to configuration file of protector and we have to specify that yes we want to use this library and let's see how we can do that so this is a uh, configuration.js file of uh, protector so this is the configuration uh, file of protector tool uh, so now we will focus on the parts um, which are focused for reporting all right so as we have installed protector jasmine html reporter so we will tell okay we have to make use of require method so in uh, protector i mean we can use of this uh, require and it's a basically a javascript so if we need any uh, dependency if we need any uh, package which we want which we want to make use and uh, so we have to use the require method so the first line of this configuration dot js says require protector jasmine html reporter and we are storing into this object jasmine to html reporter which means whatever libraries whatever methods are available in this library now we can make use of those methods and libraries into our configuration.js file so this is the one point another thing which we would like to mention here is that we have to write to on prepare function right so we have mentioned that okay we require that library now in next step is we have to make use uh, we have to specify so we have to specify on prepare function so let's see what exactly in the on prepare function on prepare colon function and this is the curly braces for the function it starts here and ends here on prepare function and within the function body we have written jasmine dot get environment add reporter then we are creating object of jasmine to html reporter new and here we are saying at this path we would like to store our reports all right so jasmine dot get environment dot add reporter and this new jasmine to html reporter and as this highlighted one jasmine to html reporter it is the variable which was initialized here jasmine to html reporter and in this on prepare function we are saying uh, we are giving the value um, save path variable this value that okay that dot stands for current folder so in the current folder where the test is it will create another folder test and again reports and inside that uh, we will see the reports which which will be generated okay so just to uh, summarize uh, we need protector to jasmine this we need protector jasmine html reporter library for that we have used require method and we created one variable out of that jasmine to html reporter now we have created that variable but we have to uh, in the configurations we have to tell okay whenever our test is start right many test could, could be in the automation regression suite so whenever those tests start you have to use this reporting so that is the reason in the configuration file we are using uh, on prepare which means whenever tests are preparing whenever tests are about to start so on every prepare of every test just we have to give this configurations jasmine it's a testing framework so jasmine will 
uh, load get all the environments and uh, it will add the reporting and what kind of reporting the library which we have uh, downloaded and installed so jasmine to html reporter so by this line so testing framework will have um, will know that okay we have to use this reporter and another thing which we which we need to do is we have to specify the path where we want to uh, store the reports all right so it's pretty simple uh, let's go to the section uh, i think here so to generate automation test report in protector there are two steps one is you will need protector jasmine expense reporter which we have we have already done and the second step was you will have to mention the location where you would like to save your report and uh, so in on prepare block we specify the location so at this location we would like to save our report so this is that's it i mean this is the only configuration which we have which you have to do right and now let's see how we can generate the reports so let's see the demo now so this is the setting i have done and now i have these uh, test suit test cases so this is one test case it block and this is another test case right now test cases are independent of the configurations so we we will generate report but in the test so we haven't specified that we want to generate test report so it's those are independent configuration file is independent and test suit test cases are independent so i haven't done anything in the test cases part for the reporting purpose so th there are uh, as we can see in this file report demo.js we have two test cases like verify title test one verify title test two so this line will uh, launch the browser and this will do the validation that okay the browser title is equal to this super calculator or not and another test case uh, again it will launch the browser and it will validate the title so um, intentionally i have given wrong title so uh, this test case should fail and first test case should pass and for its execution we should see one automation report automation test report uh, because we have mentioned in the configuration file that we want to generate report all right so it's pretty simple now let's see the execution or uh, execution of this report and uh, as we know in protector to uh, run our test uh, in the configuration we specify which file we want to run so in the specs block i have written okay report demo i would like to execute now let's try to execute just open command prompt cmd and go to the location where your test is so my tests are under this folder under this example folder because here you can see this report demo test is there and there are some other tests and in this example folder there is this configuration file as well so i will go to this location and let me copy this location cd chain directory to this location and to execute protector test we have to use this command conf.js and along with protector so protector conf.js just press enter so it should execute our test and uh, one test report should be generated at the location which we have mentioned in the configuration file so let's see how it goes as we can see uh, it's running one instance of web driver using chrome driver directly
my system is a bit slow so that's why it was taking time all right as we can see uh, this browser has launched and it should launch the url which was mentioned in the test As you can see the super title uh, title was there so it was so quick all right so now our test suit has completed and here we can see two specs which means two test cases out of which one was failed and this is the execution time taken cool so this was on the command prompt but we would like to see what um, any report is generated or not uh, in order to see let's go to our configuration file again and here we can see we have given this path current directory test reports and the current directory was this example folder and as we can see this test folder is generated and inside that one reports is also generated and here see uh, we here we can see there are two uh, things one is screenshots and the second one is HTML report so let's try to open this HTML report up all right where is that folder ah, it's opening up now so it was the previous run let me close this all right so we can see uh, this is the automation regression suit this was the first test case which is passed and the second test case uh, which we were expecting it should fail because uh, it was expecting super calculator but it found super calculator 13131 and this is a screenshot of the test and this validation we can uh, match with our test case because here we i have mentioned that okay try to validate with the with this text so this test case was passed and this was failed all right so uh, this kind of report we can see and also uh, we can see the screen corresponding screenshots uh, let's go to the other folder the screenshots folder and here we can see for the two tests we got the screenshots this is the first screenshot let me open it uh, this is and next one is another screenshot All right, guys. So that that way uh, we can generate our automation test report. All right. So let me summarize. Uh, in the configuration file, we specify that okay, uh, we need this library require by using require method protector jasmine HTML reporter library. And uh, second thing which we mentioned in the configuration file is uh, on prepare function. And in the on prepare function, we uh, specify where we want to store our reports. That's it and we just execute our test and at this location we can get our reports along with the screenshots. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in next session.